<laughs> so, <laughs> I didn't get it. I got it. Here is a, here is the S shape of a transverse wave. S shape of a transverse wave. Now, I'm going to need someone who's extremely strong to be my helper. Dan, Dan. I'll do it. Do I just, all right, no, no. All right, you can sit down now, Griselda. Thank you very much. Everyone, a round of applause for Griselda and her wonderful emotions. Thank you. 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 This is extremely dangerous, so we'll need high impact goggles. And this is in equilibrium. Now, what we have here is we have the difference between a, what's called a, a pulse or an impulse, which is one part. An impulse is boom, right? Now, watch this. Here's an impulse, and you can watch it on here. Boom, right? An impulse is just that one motion. Now what makes this different from having simple harmonic motion, as you see with that uh, bob going up and down, is simple harmonic motion is a train of pulses, one after another. Boom, 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 boom. So when I do that, now we have, you keep your hands steady? Yeah, don't try to move, you keep it real steady. All right, now we have, I'll give this a little more slack. Now we have a wave. All right, how many waves do you see? Two. Well, one at a time. I see a million. Uh, a wave, a transverse wave has what shape? An S. An S type shape. How many waves do you see? Many. One. One. One wave. You see one up and down and another up and down. This is also called a standing wave. All right, here is a, that's one wave. So just hold it steady. I'll show you, here is a half a wave. All right, this is half a wave. See how it's like a U shape? And when it goes up to down, it makes like a O, right? Now this is also, this is also with a frequency, this would be one cycle taking place. It's one cycle, each jump up and down is a cycle, but this is still only, this is still only half of a wave. Because if I was to make this a letter, if I stopped it at any point and made a letter, what letter would it look like? A U. A U. Alright, so you see what you have here. Here's a U like this. Here's the upside down part of the U. And this is from here to here is half a wave. One full wave, one full transverse wave, has an S shape. So you have this part going up and down, and you have this part going up and down. Now, we, no, you're still here, you're not going anywhere. We have, what, what we have here is a special type of wave called a standing wave. And it's called a standing wave because as you see in this point right here, you see this little point right here? Did it look like it was just kind of hanging out here while the rest of it moved up and down? It's called a node, N-O-D-E. And someone said just a little bit. But we can try to get it, we'll see in a second, we can try to get it so that it stands almost perfect. We can use that little device that's more, um, it's better calibrated than my arm. So this part up and down is called the anti-node. The anti-node because it's the opposite of the node. It's the opposite of the node. It goes the farthest distance up and down. When we have two anti-nodes in the middle, right, going up and down like here, and we have one node on the end, and I have to move it, but if we had a, like this device over here that just kind of spins, you get one, two, three nodes and two anti-nodes. Now if Tony can hold his uh, hand real still, then that would be a node, right? Because this would be moving, but his hand would be standing still, right? So if he could do that, you could see at his point there's a note. This is a half a wave, right? Half a wave. His hand is, is steady. That's a node. Where's the anti-node? Right in the middle. All right? Up and down is one cycle. Now, if I add more anti-nodes, let's see. Here we go. All right, if I add, this is two anti-nodes, 
Where's the nodes? Where are the nodes? Miguel, would you come up and put your finger by the middle node? You don't have to touch it, but just put it by it. Does everyone look oh, closer? All right. Do you see how? Do you see how that anti or that node? Do you see how that? Keep your hand next to it so you see it as a reference. Pick up the red marker and put it by it. You see how that node hardly moves. Do I get that on tape there? Dan, you see how it. that node hardly moves in the middle. But these anti-nodes, find an anti-node by Tony. Miguel, move to where the anti-node is. Nope, that's another node. Yeah, anti-node. This is the place of maximum displacement. It moves the farthest distance up and down. That's called the anti-node. This is one staining wave. Because you see how you have here, Mr. Murphy? You have one curve here and one curve there, and it'll make an S and then like an anti-S on the other side. This is one standing wave. Now we can increase this, right? Let this go down a little bit. Keep your hand steady. Now how many anti-nodes do I have? Keep your hand steady. Two. One and a half. Four. How many up and downs do you see? Three. How many nodes do you see? Two in the middle, and our two hands is? Four. I know my hand's moving a lot, but it, in, um, if, say it was a guitar string, this is what a guitar string uh, would be like. Hold it steady. A guitar string would be like this. You pluck it in the middle, bloop, 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 and then this sits still, right? And that sits still. So, pretend, Dan, you play guitar, right? Come over here. All right, let's hold it, hold it tight, hold it tight. Come up here and pretend this is a guitar string and give it a good, uh, a good uh, noisy string. How would you do it? There's a violin. You see how that works? And then we get music. You hear that? Is that what your band sounds like, Dan? Yeah. That's a good sound, isn't it? But it sounds right. better. 